Hello guys, this is Sherry and welcome to my channel. So today is 18th March, Friday. Actually, today I'm gonna service my bike, my Yamaha FZ25. Actually, the thing is, I will say that later. So this is the new camera setup <coughs> for my motor vlogging. So this is a SDK Explorer, as you people know, but it doesn't have mic. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna connect the headset to my mobile phone and I'm gonna record the voice from the mobile phone and then I'm gonna pass the both blah oh my god I'm gonna do this so first I'm gonna go to the Yamaha showroom first and I'm gonna leave servicing of my Yamaha FZ25 first servicing means uh, as you people know the accident so I'm gonna claim insurance in my bike because it will cost around 5000 I think so the parts which have been broken so I thought why we should not climb insurance, insurance has one month time so I'm gonna climb insurance. Let me show you the bike. So this is my Yamaha FZ25, oh my god it is very sunny in Chennai and this is my feather. What is the thing is if I gave to, if I climb insurance it will take around 10 to 15 days it seems. So 10 to 15 days my bike has to be in the showroom, in the service center itself. So what I did was uh, I just uh, took phaser back and now I'm gonna give servicing of this bike. After coming back I'm gonna take phaser to give service. I wanna change the engine oil and uh, braking. All those things was there, all the problems was there. So I'm gonna change that. So I'm gonna start now from here to service center, MR service center. Very sunny. So recording started. Uh, okay. Let me keep this in the pocket. And I wanna start now. I hope my voice is clear. I don't know about this. I didn't try this before. So what is the procedure to claim insurance for your bike? What's this? It is very simple and very easy. You, what you need to do is you have to take your bike to the service center and the documents you need was uh, your insurance photocopy then your RC book photocopy your driving license photocopy you need a bank passbooks first print page photocopy and last uh, what they will say last update of the bank passbook and then you need a cancelled check so how much time it will take what is the procedure to do that so you need to submit all this what the service center manager will do is you uh, write a quotation for your bike the parts which you needed the parts which has been broken mostly all the broken parts will come under or uh, insurance it's because uh, if you have bumper to bumper uh, insurance then it all will come under the all will come under the insurance itself if you don't have then you have to pay for some parts i think so i'm not very sure about that really you will quotation you will do a quotation for that and you will send it to the insurance company and the insurance company will replay for that within 24 hours maximum 24 hours it will take 24 hours and they will see what and all was gone what and all was broken and uh, they will give a quotation for the service center came 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 to the service center Driving license is not going to be able to get the RC book. Yes, driving license is not going to be able to get the RC book. Yes, the RC book is not going to be able to get the RC book. How much is the bank passbook? Yes, the bank passbook is on the front page. Okay. Okay. So, I think I'm going to go to the repayment. 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 So, now what happened was the current was not there, and then I want to take my passbook things and all also. It will take me about one hour, it seems. 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my mom's shop. I'm gonna take some rest. And then, oh my god, I'm gonna feel fuel first for this bike. I'm gonna take rest and I'm gonna take Xerox copies of everything. And then I'll be coming again to the service center. So I hope now you people are clear. As you said, this is how it will work. My bike has bumper to bumper insurance. Hope your bike will also have. So back to my mom's shop actually from the service center. As you people know there was no current in service center so they sent me to come back after an hour and I also forgot the bank passbook all those things. So I was in my mom's shop and I called my junior guy. <coughs> we studying in my college and he used to live near to my home. I called him that uh, asked him to come with me to the service center because he wanna someone wanna pick me from the service center, right? So uh, my mom was also not here, she went somewhere for her work. So I thought that it would be great that he, if he came. So if I called him just now uh, and he was coming, he's on the way, it seems. Let go, no good aspects. <laughs> so this is my college junior, his Hi. name is Sai. Now he's gonna pick me from the MH service center. Now we both gonna go together to the MH service center and leave my baby to servicing. So guys, this is the MH service center. My bike. I'm really gonna miss it for 10 days, 10 to 15 days it will take, it seems so I'm really gonna miss it. Now they are gonna put a job for, for that and I'm gonna pay for the insurance of the bike and then they will leave from here and I'll go to home and then I'll take my pleasure home. like this when you are claiming your insurance you have to fill these things with the help of uh, the insurance copy actually Oof, it's hurting a lot i finished filling this form which is for claiming the insurance they have asked about the accident details and uh, where the accident was happened everything we have to write in this form and then you don't need a police uh, FIR copy on all mostly if it is a major accident you would have been needed those things if it's a minor accident then you don't need a police copies on all you can uh, there is a uh, there is a tablet to enter those things you can enter in that and you need your these are the these are the documents which you have to submit the insurance all those things I have said now the insurance and bank passbook print for the Xerox copy and then a, a cancel check all the things you have to give and make sure you have to get the signature of the RC book owner whose name has been registered in the RC book they have to do signature in this form now everything was done now I'm gonna give it to him and then I'm gonna start moving from this place this was amazing looking amazing let me show you problems was there one is accelerator cable problem and one more is the disc braking pin braking problem was there so i'll clear it soon it sounds too loud ah. So, so guys, in today's video, I have gave my bike for uh, servicing means I have claimed insurance. 
at the same time i have started the new bike and very important thing is i hope this will be a helpful video for you because many of them used to think climbing insurance is a very big deal uh, it take lots of process lots of time and all it will take lots of time but then the processing our part of the our part of work in that is very low as i showed you people <clears throat> just want to fill a form and just want to give to them that's it our part will be get over that itself they will take care of uh, everything then so don't be worry if something happened to your bike go and climb insurance don't waste your money you are having insurance on your bike so climb insurance so with that's it i'm going to end this vlog over here i i hope this video is helpful for you people thank you so much for watching still if you didn't subscribe to the channel subscribe and make sure you click that notification button and if you have any doubts please comment below and follow me on instagram thank you so much for watching guys see you people in the next video till that signing off your chali just till that signing off your chali just as you said eat sleep and try to repeat that again guys see you people in the next video bye bye it's very hot i'm gonna fall asleep bye